Okay, we're looking at some clouds here in Wilkesbury, but it's all bright in Albrightsville. Lots of sunshine. It's a little chilly though, 40 degrees. It feels like 33 because of the winds. Winds are going to be an issue then today. Okay, let's go take a look at the satellite and radar. That mess we had last night, that is heading off to the north and east. There is an upper level trough, and you can see the clouds, how they're thickening up right here. And I think up there in the northern tier, you're going to see a scattered snow shower <laughs> later this morning, and maybe even a couple of showers. So you got to be prepared for that. But otherwise, we're not looking bad. This is the next system we're going to have to watch. Low pressure out there in the Midwest. It's going to be making its way towards us. And it's going to dive a little bit to the south, and that's going to allow some colder air to come in to the north. And I think you're going to be looking at some scattered snow showers up there in the northern tier once again for tomorrow. So let's put the maps in motion. Here's that little mess I was talking about for this morning. And it's just going to kind of skirt the um, northern tier. I don't think it's going to be a big deal at all. And then high pressure is going to build in for the rest of the day. And then overnight tonight, the clouds will be on the increase again as another system makes its way towards us. And we're going to see again some snow showers, maybe even some freezing rain or sleet up there in the northern tier for tomorrow morning. So just be careful if you're heading off to church. You could see a little bit of slickness on the road. That clears out. High pressure builds back in. And that's going to be for later Sunday and Monday. Monday looks like it starts off pretty well, but <laughs> you guessed it. We have another system making its way towards us. Going to start spreading some rain in here later on Monday into Monday night. In fact, we, what we have is going to be a stationary front that's going to be draped near the area, and that's going to be a conduit for a lot of little impulses to come through. And I think even though right now it looks like Wednesday we're going to be looking at some clearing skies, we'll see some scattered showers even for Wednesday. That's just the kind of pattern we're going to be in for this upcoming week. And when this rain comes in for tomorrow, when it's all said and done, maybe a quarter of an inch over there in the Poconos, about a half inch up there in the uh, Avoca Airport, so we're going to watch that for you, but not a whole lot of rain, and I don't think a whole lot of snow for those folks in the northern tier. But up there in the northern tier, you're going to be looking at a chance of scattered snow showers or showers this morning. Your temperature is climbing up into the upper 40s to low 50s. Over in the Poconos, pretty much the same deal for you folks, the upper 40s, low 50s, although I don't think you'll see too much in the way of scattered showers anymore. In the southern tier, you're also going to be looking at plenty of sunshine, I think, for this afternoon. And you're going to be looking at highs kind of climbing up into the mid to upper 50s. Let's go take a look at what's going to happen over the next seven days now, shall we? Sunday, a shower south, snow shower north, high of 52 degrees. Monday, a pretty nice day to start with, and then clouds increase, late day shower possible, 58 for a high. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Brianna, we're going to be looking at scattered showers, or at least a chance of them, all four days. 64 for a high on Tuesday, 66 Wednesday, then back in the low 60s for Thursday and Friday. And it's springtime, northeast Pennsylvania, that means thunderstorms. So you can be on top of everything. Just download the weather app onto your cell phone for severe weather alerts and interactive radar and You'll be notified with the lightning. It'll even tell you how far the lightning is from your location. It's really a great app to have, especially this time of year. Does it really? Oh, yeah. Wow. It's pretty high tech. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs>